David Dorn is not a name on the lips of our leaders this week. It should be. Dorn served his community for almost 40 years as a police officer. Even half after he retired, he continued to help others. Last weekend, Dorn was in St. Louis trying to protect a friend's store from looters, and he was murdered for doing it. This country ought to remember Dorn. He represents the best of America. Instead, his name has been shoved down the memory hole. The media would like him forgotten immediately so they can go back to inflaming hateful violence across our nation. We should not let that happen. He was not the only victim, by the way, of these riots, and not the only victim who has been forgotten. We think that's a shame. On Twitter, former White House speechwriter Darren Beatty, and good for him, has been keeping track of the casualties of this rioting, and we want to read some of them to you because it's important to remember people who've been killed. More than just one, many. David Patrick Underwood was a Federal Protective Service officer in California. A week ago, he was shot to death. We don't know who killed him. He was protecting a federal building in Oakland. One of his colleagues was also critically injured in that shooting. Italia Marie Kelly was just 22 years old. She was attending a George Floyd-related protest in Davenport, Iowa. She became uncomfortable with the direction of that protest, understandably. She got in her car to leave, and she was killed by a stray bullet, shot dead. Jose Gutierrez was a bystander. He was watching as others looted the Chicago suburb of Cicero. For being there, he was shot in the head and killed by this man, Zion Haygood. That's what police say. Another victim in Cicero, Illinois, was Victor Cesares Jr. He was 27. He was shot to death outside a grocery store. No one remembers his name. We should. In Minneapolis, Francisco Montiel, who was 46, was found dead next to a burned-out car. Police attributed his death to, quote, complex homicidal violence. That's obvious. He was a casualty of the riots. At least three people were murdered during the violence in Indianapolis. One of them was 38-year-old former Indiana football player Chris Beatty. He was found shot to death just outside his apartment. An unnamed Latino man in his 20s was also killed on Sunday in Los Angeles in an area that was completely demolished by rioters. And, of course, those are just the ones who were killed. Probably not an exhaustive list. If you know more, please send them to us. Thousands have been hurt, maimed, financially ruined, brain damaged over the past week. Dozens of those are police officers. They were injured trying to protect the public. One of them is Las Vegas police officer Shay McLanus. He was shot during the riot on Monday. The man who shot him says it was an accident. He was just trying to scare away rioters. We don't know the truth, but the man took a bullet to the head. The police officer did. Every one of those people deserves to be remembered. But instead, again, they are forgotten, and they're forgotten on purpose. The press would like these protests to go down in history as mostly peaceful. They're not, and they're not in part because CNN, MSNBC, The New York Times, and many others have been inflaming racial tensions around the country. They're inciting violence. They don't care about the consequences. The rest of us should care. Those are human beings, they're Americans, and now they're gone. And you know who did it? The people on our streets. They should be held accountable for what they did. Well, for months and months, you'll remember, our leaders made it illegal for you to protest anything, even to go to church. The coronavirus lockdowns were enforced. But now that our streets are overrun with Black Lives Matter protests and riots, they've changed their minds. Your protests are still illegal. They're racist. The ones destroying our country? essential. We'll tell you what they said after the break.